today I wanted to give you a little background on how I got started in beekeeping. My uh, stepdad, who is a beekeeper, has a partner. Uh, they keep a good quantity of bees. <clears throat> and they um, asked me last May if I would like to try beekeeping myself. And I thought about it for a while. And I said, sure, I'll give it a go. And so <clears throat> I initially set up the first hive on this stand, which is in the back of the uh, vegetable garden. And a little later on, uh, Pete, who is my stepdad's partner, asked me if I wanted a second hive because he said it would be good to be able to compare what the two hives were doing. And so at this empty location here is where I had the second hive set up. But it turned out that these locations were not ideal. And it's one of the things I've learned about beekeeping that location is really important on where the hive should be put. Uh, this spot here isn't too bad, relatively speaking, because I can get behind the hive and actually do the hive inspections from the back. Whereas the location over in the vegetable garden, it was almost up against the fence, <clears throat> which made it rather difficult to do any hive inspections. So, on the 27th of December of 2018, I got out my tools and I got some lumber and I built this hive stand and then I moved the bees over here and at that time I put this chicken wire with some uh, pine branches weaved into it in front of the hives so that they would come out and do some orientation and that worked out pretty well with the exception of a few from the second hive wanting to go back to their stand that was up there on the uh, upper part of the lot. Um, I did put a, an empty box up there and they went into it and so I was able to bring them back down here and release them in front of their their actual hive and uh, that seemed to have given them the right ideas. Um, I'm dabble in woodworking so I had built all my own boxes and I built all the inner covers and I built the roofs and the screen bottom boards and I also dabble in 3d printing so as you can see on the front of the hives I've got sliding openings or entrance reducers and I can set them up to um, four to ha four to five inches wide at the most and we can close them right off if we want to move the hives up to the bush where the uh, fireweed blossoms in the summertime which is usually what uh, my stepdad and Pete do uh, they take their hives up to the to the bush where the uh, fireweed is blossoming and they get lots of really delicious honey from it so that's how I've gotten started in this and it has been an adventure and there have been so many things that the bees have taught me uh, about what they like and what they don't like and I think in um, a couple of future videos I will um, pass along some of that information to you. Uh, for now this is January 24th and uh, uh, 2019 and so for now I'm going to sign off and um, hopefully you'll get some useful information about hive location and I will talk to you again soon.